This video is for repairing a MacBook Air 13-inch 2011 version, power on and stop in the widescreen. Only showing the startup sound, but not showing any of the Apple logo, and not logging to the operating system. Also, it's no responding by pressing the option key or press Ctrl Command P and R key and start up. No responding for the catalog key either. The good thing to hear in the startup sound when power on the machine is which is means the major component on the MacBook Air is working fine. After diagnosis that it found out the USB hub one is not functioning by cause it's causing by the clock chipset is failing. This generation of the MacBook Air they got two of the USB hub chipset. Is they both of them exactly the same? And these two chipset they just locate almost next to each other. We power on the machine, giving the power and testing the good one to see what is the result. We connect one side of the clock IC and it shows 24M MHz uh, is correct result. When we connecting uh, the other one, it just um, coming up the, the voltage without any of the wave. The clock she says is not functioning. It's supposed to be have a 24 megahertz wave like this one, like this good one showing on the screen. I cannot find um, exactly the same uh, clock she said. The original one is so tiny. And this one is the smallest one I can find uh, from the spare park. Um, we can't put it on um, that side, the same side of the motherboard. Uh, this side, um, when we put it back in the case, it uh, it just between the keyboard keyboard side. The space is so tiny, so I need to um, wiring this chipset to the other side of the motherboard. The other side of the motherboard is um, is on the button side, button case side, case side. Uh, it have more large space. After replace it, then we start testing. Uh, it coming uh, with the wave, twenty four micro wave, is correct now. After we put back the motherboard back to the casing and have a final testing. Uh, everything is functioning now. The repair job is done.